Global Village came to us as a surprise and as an answer to a prayer. We were very low on funds and very low on food, and I was returning back to the Ivory Coast to be with the children after a short respite and collection. Barrels of what my children called Muhammad Ali, and then they brought us wheelchairs and uh, crutches, uh, toothbrushes, toothpaste. I had enough for many, many months, and you'd be surprised how children devour toothpaste in Africa. They think it's candy. Global Village champions um, travel the world to help people. Our motto, saving lives for a living, means a lot to us. Uh, Muhammad is global, and the nice thing about the champions is they will carry his torch to all different countries around the world. This is really a miracle come true, a miracle for which the children have been praying and praying. There are going to be thousands of people going to be touched by Global Village. The only thing we can give back is, in return is prayer. So to me, it's a real miracle come true. When we first started feeding people, one of the reporters said, what's the catch? There is no catch. To date, everything has come from Global Village Market, from the Muhammad Ali Global Village Champions. It's trying to be helpful. And it's trying to find projects where they can help people over the long term, not just feed them today so they're hungry tomorrow, but find a way that they can stick with it. I told my children that. I said, here's a man who's a living example to you. He has his own handicap. He's not thinking about his handicap. He's thinking about you, and he's sharing what he has with you. Your angels are calling all your actions. And that, God's not going to judge it on your wealth. He's not going to judge on your looks. He's not going to judge on your money. He's not going to judge on your I really believe that you really can do well by doing good. We're looking for partners who would like to help, and if we get more people to do what we're doing, which they can do very easily, um, we'll have a much better world. I'm very proud that I got to meet Muhammad Ali, and um, I'm even more proud today to join him uh, for what he's doing. I'm with you all the way, with Muhammad, and everybody wants to be part of it. Please join us, okay? You can do it. You can make a big difference. So it's a good chance to, to put something back into the community and uh, and help people and feel really good about that. And that's something that, you know, of course, everyone knows Muhammad Ali has been doing for years. And to be able to get involved with something that he's doing on that level uh, is a great opportunity. It's nice to uh, be able to help other people. So uh, for me, I think Yang Barry is giving me the opportunity uh, in a way to uh, reach his goal and uh, to be part of that uh, that goal and uh, it's fantastic to be part of it. To be a glo global village champion is uh, quite an honor for me to be around such uh, people as the greatest Mr. Muhammad Ali. I'm also working with my very, very dear friend for life, Mr. Yang Barry, who is an uh, uh, inspiration to me. This guy is just given so much. He's just opening his heart like the way we should all act. And he's not only giving his money. You're giving your time, you're giving your heart, your soul. Yank Barry amazes me because here he is, here Yank Barry is a lay person who doesn't have to even care about us, who doesn't have to even worry about our needs, and not even of our religion. And he does not take any of this into account. He just takes into account we are children, uh, handicapped children in need. And he has really been magnanimous in his support and his uh, efforts. And when I see the effort he's exerting now, moving around, never stopping, I am really and truthfully uh, elated and also very edified that he, who has not consecrated his life to Christ like I did, could do so much. So it gives me the impetus to do even more now. Thank, Thank you, Global Village, for caring and sharing. sharing.